a lot of characters, but mm -hmm. you know, we're getting a little bit deeper into the bracket. <laughs> Yep. And as we get a little bit deeper into the bracket, too, like you said, we are going to see a lot of killers on this one. Not that we don't already, honestly. Uh, Comics and Zomba, both very, very strong players. I think Zomba has been in the top three for the past uh, couple weeks, honestly. Mm -hmm. Very strong showing from him lately. Uh, but we're going to get into game one on PS2 Classic Neutral Choice stage for everybody. We are going to see the Duck Hunt from Zane and Odyssey's Greninja, as you said. Absolutely. Um, Zane and their duck hunt are really good, but we also have Odyssey, who's also been doing really well. Uh, if I remember correctly, they did take a game, or they did take a set, not a game, they took a set off of Jackal. Now, getting into this game, what we most likely might be seeing here is we're going to see Greninja invading a lot of space that Zane, you know, wants to really take you know, just control of. However, this is kind of where we start seeing a little bit more of a different situation from, you know, Zane, because mm -hmm. um, it, I don't know if people know, but like Zane has taken a set oh, off of Stock Taker. Gonna Goodness. take that set, I mean, to that stock, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, but we're most likely gonna be seeing them um, actually be a little bit more aggressive, you know, all, as, mm -hmm. you know, Greninja is just... <laughs> <laughs> Look at this run for the grab, that was amazing. Um, Absolutely, you know, we definitely did see them um, just running in there and that's exactly what we're going to be seeing i mean you know they've been definitely doing really well with a lot of you know aggressive plays that they really do you know make mm -hmm. and it's just really going to be interesting to see how they actually class with each other you're, you're talking the both of them zane or odyssey for the aggressive both of them plays. only because them. It, you know it's kind of just the uh, the kind of you know thing of greninja greninja is very fast can mm -hmm. place you know very specific buttons however we might have to see that as well from you know zane because you know, they've had to play, you know, Stocktaker, who does play Wolf, and Wolf is kind of more like a very, uh, not campy, but more like aggressive type of Wolf that, that, you know, we've seen from them. Very passive, but also like really spaces, you know, their tools out. But mm -hmm. Speaking of spacing the tools out, we're seeing good usage from Odyssey over here trying to edge trap. That's going to be really nice from Zane. Good two frame on that. Um, and we are seeing, like you said, a little bit of aggression from Zane's duck on here. We're seeing a lot of like running in, uh, go through up airs. We saw the run for the uh, grab on that one because while there is a lot of setup potential from uh, duck hunt on this one, we're seeing Odyssey going pretty hard on this one. So I can imagine returning some of that aggression is good for the surprise factor. Well, and then we're seeing some classic setups pushing over towards the ledge. Very difficult to get back from this. Absolutely. But yeah, um, honestly, this is looking extremely even. You know, Zane, they definitely looked like they were struggling in that first um, stock. However, they've definitely been making this as even as possible. And they've been really figuring out, we can see from here, how to actually place, you know, when they actually need to be aggressive and when they actually, you know, just kind of need to wait a little bit because that's exactly what they're doing right now. They notice that they're in the lead and th th they only need to do like, you know, just the, honestly the bare minimum because they only need to let, you know, um, the can do the work for them. Mm -hmm. Well, the can's doing a lot of work. Gunman is also doing uh, a good amount of work over here. Can obviously dominates a lot of the screen with the bouncing free form as well as the camera movement, so in a literal sense as well. Um, but Gunman is controlling a lot of horizontal space on this one, even if Greninja can run into it, or under it rather. That is a commitment. Uh, and if you run into something on Duck Hunt, you could potentially run into one of those discs, which can be a huge amount of damage at lower percent, and even at higher percent, where the knockback is not too large. Nice! Mm, Good toss. Very, very nice. And then the kill does get rid of the can right away, so uh, no trade on that one. And now we're looking at a pretty high percent uh, Greninja on this one. We'll see if Odyssey can't rack up some extra credit. Zayn trying to look for a kill as uh, they push for center stage on this one, holding on to it pretty strongly. Absolutely, they're at 161%, so honestly, this is just going to be on Zane Ooh. to take the stock like they are going to do that right there. Now, one thing that I definitely want to point out is for the sole fact that, you know, although it's kind of just, you know, the thing that Greninja does have to look for their way in, I would definitely love to see, like they are going to do right there, and just invading a lot of space with Nair. That gunman really takes a lot of um, coverage. As we can see, like Zane, that when they don't want to approach, they're not going to, especially when, you know, they're kind of making that leap back up. Mm -hmm. They're going to use Gunman and they're going to use that as like a wall, as, you know, as just Gun, um, you know, Duck Hunt does. But, you know, honestly, that's just what we're going to see a little bit more of. We need to see a little bit more of a mix up when they're not in the lead. They don't really need to invade that space, but when mm -hmm. they are, you know, they're going to have to find some ways without actually, you know, getting disturbed by Can. 
Yep. Well, it's that's part of uh, getting in on the zoners as well, too, is that uh, Zane likes to play very tricky with their placements. So the best thing you can do is to try to remain um, unreadable, essentially. So sometimes that means that the option that might be the more safe is not the correct one, because then Zane could potentially cover it if they see it coming. Nice. Spacing out with the fares on that one, that'll do it. Odyssey is shaking his head. A uh, little tight on that one, but always the next game. Absolutely. So that was looking pretty close, honestly. Um, a lot of uh, the aggression was working out for Odyssey on that game. Zane's zoning uh, looking very sharp as always, but we did see Odyssey get in there uh, when he needed to and got those conversions. That conversion off of Nair into up smash was pretty great as well. I didn't think that would kill. Absolutely. We definitely love the stalling coming in from you know Odyssey, but that down air is just it's just going to go blah, and then just kill you know, honestly, like that. And we almost heard Palutena, but no. We are going to see Zane. They're actually going to switch to Mega Man. Now, this, from my knowledge, is the first time they've actually pulled out um, this Mega Man in on stream before here at Xeno. Now, um, they've definitely brung it out, you know, at other places, but this is going to be very interesting to see how they actually go about this. I know they definitely do struggle times, even with a lot of fast characters most of the time, because, mm -hmm. you know, Zane tends to, I guess, kind of switch when they either have to play other zoners or, you know, just people who are really fast, like Wolf. But and it, 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 it's, it's a mid-space sort of thing, right? Because with Duck Hunt, you need setup time to occupy the mid-space, whereas Mega Man kind of has a very strong showing there naturally between Lemons, Metal Blade, um, forward air and back air are also very nice disjointed moves. Um, so discouraging that middle ground where Greninja wants to get in and threaten the ability to come in very quickly, do something like a forward air, back air, run in, empty hop, nair, anything like that um, can be very strong. So we'll see how that works out for Zane. Absolutely. And getting into this game right now, we kind of have, you know, just a little bit of a um, situation going on. Zane is at 83% right now. And right now, this is kind of looking more in Odyssey's favor. They've done a lot of, you know, what they needed to do in neutral oh, and actually no. going that's to sucks. SD there. That is so sad. And I think that's actually because they use their up B um, to actually kind of catch Odyssey recovering high. But not gonna work out for them um, trying. I think it was a it was a fast fall. They wanted to fast fall the ledge, but then fast fell past ledge, and because the uppy was still recovering, I don't think they could have used it. Um, um, I also think that has to do with you know the fact that uh, you know when you actually fast fall and you have a um, you know move coming out, I think they use down air. Mm -hmm. um, you actually can't grab the ledge at that point. Like a lot of the situations, like especially like I think that also happens when like if we're gonna use an example, Bayonetta up B, um, that actually can't really connect to the ledge mm -hmm. as well as it used to because a move is being input. A little bit of time has to pass before and move inputs and you know is actually kind of yeah, finished yeah. before you can grab there, the ledge. There, there is a period of time where you can't grab the ledge. It was shortened in a patch quite a while ago, but there is still a window where you can't do that. Um, but getting back into the match here, we see a pretty good showing from Odyssey right now, holding center stage. Um, Mega Man is threatening in the mid-range in the sense that you will rack up a little bit of percent, but if Mega Man doesn't have too much space to work with, they can't exactly run back and create space with Lemons, uh, jump back, Nair, Fair. Um, looking pretty good right now. Gets the Crash Bomber on that one, waits for a reaction, but no such luck. Spacing out with Fair's Metal Blade, holding on to the center stage. Very nice clip! All right, actually tags with the Crash Bomber. Doesn't get the tech on the drop Metal Blade, though. That's unfortunate. All right, Odyssey looking pretty good on this one. Zane's definitely got their work cut out for them, but this is still doable. Mega Man certainly has quite a bit of kill power. Absolutely. Conversion to chase. And... Nice. Yeah. Good job winning on the, uh, the air dodge on that one. Very tempting to press that early, but uh, Zane Cognizant of Odyssey looking for the bait. Nice. There it is again. Very tempting to air dodge in a lot of these scenarios because you don't want to take that extra percent, but Odyssey's looking out for it. And if he can get it, that's a lot of extra percent on the board. All right, good idea with another blade. Holding on to center stage right now, but slowly racking up the percent. Odyssey not in too much danger currently. This is a high percent. I'm going to be honest, I really like the way that Zane was honestly just right there. Nice, good call out on the double jump. Very nice call out. However, Zane was honestly, they were just playing there. <laughs> there, You know, um, Odyssey was in the corner. And, you know, when you're in the corner, it's just like, what do you do now? And I think Odyssey was kind of just like doing their own thing there. Mm -hmm. But just noticing that Zane wasn't actually going to do anything. They weren't going to commit to anything. And even though they were, you know, kind of, you know, just 
in control of this stage. Mm -hmm. They kind of just took note of that and they were like, okay, I'm going to attack you. And then they kind of just threw them right to the other side of the stage. Um, got that down so into that double jump re on the, you know, fair. And they're going to take that. Mm -hmm. That's 